Hello, Bruno here, and let's take a quick look how we can deploy, clone and deploy the repo for do the rag chat uh, in C Sharp. So what we have here is the repo, the Azure Search OpenAI demo in C Sharp. Let's go here, get the clone the URL, and let's go here and clone the repo. This took a couple of seconds, and once here, once we are here, we can go and navigate here. Important, what we have here is the full, it's, the repo is ready to be deployed, so let's start the deployment. Before deploying the project, let's take a look at what are we going to use here. So I opened the, just the, the, the folder that we just cloned with Visual Studio Code, and here in the infra folder we have the main bicep folder, the main bicep file, which is the one that is going to define what we want to do. And we can see here that we have the location for all resources, the location for the OpenAI resources, the value for the GPT models that we want to use here, the default is GPT 3.5 Turbo, but we can use GPT 4.0 Mini if you want. So everything else that we want to do, you can take a look here in the main bicep file and we also have the file for the function deployment and for the web deployment here if you want to deploy this instead of a, a if you want to deploy this as an app service website you can probably change here the web one and use it for this so let's start the deployment so now it's time to start the deployment i already have everything installed here so if you already have everything the local requirements like azure cli and docker desktop you can do an acd app but the first time you need to log in here so let's do an acd out login and this is going to open the browser here i have another another window uh no, i am having my subscriptions here so i am ready to log to azure so now it's time to do the acd app with the acd app we are going to start the configuration. So first of all, new environment name, let's do Bruno, let's do rag chat net 05. And then I'm going to select my subscription. This is going to be in the Visual Studio Enterprise subscription. Yes, the location, uh, let's go for East US. And I don't need here an OpenAI AP key because we are going to use Azure OpenAI here. So once we have this, the full deployment process will start. And I am going to fast forward here this because Docker is going to start to package everything and it's going to take some time to have everything here. So while we wait, I'm going to fast forward everything until the end. Here we can take a look at the current deployment status. It's starting to deploy the container apps, uh, started already the search service, everything else has been deployed. And as I said, this will take a while, so let's wait until it finishes. Now the deployment is complete, as we can see here, but the process is still working because what is going to happen now that we are going to prepare and upload all of the documents that are going to be part of a vector database to perform search later. So this is another process. First one took like 10 minutes or so. This one is going to talk also 10 minutes or more uh, in order to have everything there. So it's time to wait again, get back here when everything is processed and everything is ready and the deployment is done. At the end, we can see how we have some documents that are now part of our vector database, and we have the function to manage the documents, and also the, the application. If we browse the application, there it is. We can see that we have a chat document where we can start to add questions, and it's going to give us the answer based on the documents that we have there. If we want to add more documents, we can see here the thought process, how we get there, which are the related documents, the part of the documents. And hey, if we want to add more documents to be part of the embeddings one that we have here, this is the document part. So super easy, take some time depending on your uh, depending on how fast <laughs> Azure and your subscription is working, but at the end you have everything that you need here and the application is up and running.